AI agents are smarter and more capable than ever. But here's the truth that no one talks about. They can't do it all. If the user has an extremely niche problem or maybe even an emergency, you might need to hand off to a real operator. The good news is you can do that very easily with call forwarding in VoiceFlow. This lets you instantly route customers to the right person, whether that's for sales, support, or services. It keeps response times fast, builds trust, and makes sure you never lose business because of dropped call. I'm gonna show you how straightforward it is to set it up. But first, subscribe for more tips and tricks like this. And if you wanna follow along, click the link below to start building in VoiceFlow for free. Welcome back to my VoiceFlow Canvas. The ability to do call forwarding is super useful in service-based industries. So for this example, I've set up a fake company called Maximum Plumbing Inc. Here is the quick overview. When the user calls my business, they will be greeted by a first contact agent. The agent knows everything about my business and its only job is to answer FAQ. Now in this simplified case, my business does two things. It provides services that you can book and we're also able to dispatch a service provider in the case of a plumbing emergency. That's when I wanna hand off from the AI agent seamlessly to a real operator. Let me show you a very quick demo of how this works so you can see the flow in action. We're here at the first agent block. If I'm just asking an FAQ question, like what services do you provide, we'll stay in that agent. If we were going to book a service, you can see in the flow that we got routed to the service booking AI agent. Now, I haven't actually put anything in that agent because that's not the point of the video. Just know that you can do anything you want from that point. But let's go back and present the agent with an emergency. In this case, let's be vague. I have a plumbing emergency. Now in the flow, we get sent to the call forwarding AI agent. Obviously nothing happened here because we're over chat and I built this for a call agent. But if we were over call, you could see in the log that it would have been forwarded. I'm gonna take you through this build step-by-step step and then show you the full thing in action. All right, let's start from scratch. We need a first contact AI agent. Let's go through the instructions quickly. The role is straightforward. The AI agent knows the company they work for, their own name, and how they should start the conversation. I'm also adding that this agent's only responsibility is FAQ. If the user has other needs, they'll get triaged. Next, I always add a persona. Friendly, professional, casual. It's gonna be a call first agent, so I'm gonna make sure that the responses don't contain lists or anything unnatural. I also wanna make sure that the agent doesn't try to preemptively forward the call, because if we can, we should do this in the AI agent to maximize efficiency. Now, to make FAQ possible, I have made up a bunch of company knowledge. If you had a ton of information for your business, potentially in a website, the best way to do this would be to use the knowledge base. We won't for the purposes of this video, but if you wanna learn more about the knowledge base and in general, what AI agents can do in voice Flow, check out this video right here or right here one of the two so turning that off finally we give it some exit conditions or ways that we can move from this agent to other agents in the flow our case is straightforward we're going to have two conditions the first is that the user wants to book a service and the second is when the user has a plumbing emergency that requires a real operator this brings up an important point about workflow design in our case we're not doing a lot of things because this is a simplified example but imagine that a user can do five different things within a call i find it's good practice to have a separate AI agent step for every different functionality within the business, just to make sure that each agent is working as best as it can because it's singularly focused. So if the user wants to book a service, it will hit the service booking AI agent. This agent does nothing right now because it's not the focus of the video, but you can imagine that the possibilities are near infinite. Now let's say the user does have an emergency. A lot of this agent's instructions ends up being very similar for the role and persona. And I'm adding the exact same company knowledge back in just to cover all the bases. The only difference is I am instructing this agent on how to handle call forwarding. This is my thinking here. We want call forwarding to be as effective as possible, not just for the user, but also for my operator. So when we need to trigger this functionality, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna call it as fast as possible. Right before the call is forwarded, I'm gonna send a message to the hypothetical operator detailing as much information as I have about the user's problem, just to get the operator up to speed as quickly as possible. This doesn't have to be Slack. This could be a ticketing system, or it could be pretty much any tool that you probably use in your stack. And then we're gonna simply forward the call. So the call forwarding functionality is very easy to use. We're just going to toggle this tool on and then you can add any phone number that you want. I'm adding my own number because I am currently an owner operator. This also has support for phone extensions or using SIP. But in our case, this is all we needed to do to have this set and ready to go. Now, the Slack channel message is an added bonus. To include it in the agent, I'm using VoiceFlow's new MCP integration. 
and just adding the functionality, simple as that. No changes necessary to this screen, it all works by default. Now, I'm not taking you through MCP right now because we made an entire video on the subject and you can find that one right here. If you follow this video, it's the exact same process to set this up. And with that being said, the agent is done. The last thing we need to do is assign a phone number to it. Super easy, go to interfaces, telephony, and assign an existing number if you have one or import a number if you don't. In this case, I already have one, so I'm just gonna assign it quickly. If you don't, just check this tutorial on the telephony page. It takes you through it in two minutes, very simple. And now for the demo you've been promised. Welcome to Maximum Plumbing Inc. This is Alexa speaking. How can I assist you today? Hi, I have a dire plumbing emergency. My toilet literally just exploded and there's water everywhere. I understand this is a very urgent situation with your toilet and water everywhere. You're being connected to our emergency dispatch team right now who will get one of our 24-7 rapid response crews out to you immediately. The operator is being called. And I also want to draw your attention to my call forwarding updates channel in Slack. Urgent plumbing emergency, alarm, alarm. I set this up because I thought it was a useful extra touch. If I were a dispatch operator, I could see in real time what the user's concern is before I even pick up the call. And that feels like it could be a very useful thing for the user and the operator experience, just making things more frictionless. But the point is there are so many tools at your disposal to make call forwarding as seamless as possible. Now, let me give you a few potential next steps. Obviously you can expand on the number of agents in your workflow, depending on how many business use cases you have. But the other thing is forwarding calls does not need to be limited to just one number. You can imagine that it might be useful to have the phone number dynamically generated based off the user need or the business need. As with anything, the best way to get comfortable is to play around with it yourself. So I invite you to get building and experiment. I'm very excited to see what you come up with. And as always, if you want to join the VoiceFlow community, you can hop into our Discord linked below. At VoiceFlow, there's always more coming down the line. Until then, happy building.